coconuts in the trees. Good coconuts. Ooh, the water feels pretty warm. It's not too cold at all. People with their kayaks, pretty cool. Get this drone going. Try to get a nice aerial view real quick. can see the food is pretty good she's still working on hers mm. <laughs> yeah, this was this was really good so all right so if you choose to stay a night or two or more on San Blas Islands these are what the rooms look like and I'll just peek in because I don't know if anybody could be in here but yep these are what the rooms look like and um, yeah, there is an option. The tour option allows you to pick if you want to visit for the day or if you would like to stay longer. So it's pretty cool. Oh, guys, look what I found. And it looks like- the slug that she about to kill. And no, I'm not about to kill. I'm gonna put it back. But look, you can see his eyeball in there. You see it? Yeah, it's ah, Okay, all right, time to give him his light. Beautiful water, y'all, man. We're leaving here at one o'clock and we're going somewhere else. I don't know where they're taking the y'all. I'm so tired of getting on that boat. I ain't gonna lie to you. She in her zone now, look. Hey, Bert. Check this out, y'all. We in this thing called a, um, a natural pool, right? So we're in the middle of the ocean. Look, check this out. No land nearby, but it's crazy clear. You can see straight under. I wish I had some snorkel gear with me. They were supposed to provide it, but I guess not. First, we went to one island, then we went to a natural pool in the middle of the ocean. And now we are here at the third island in San Blas, where we will snorkel, and it's supposed to be a sunken ship out here. So, yes, look at the good people of San Blas Island. Day 
here is some delicious dinner at the hotel again. This is all piled up on each other, but look, it's about to be good. All right, now we will do a recap on San Blas Island. Buenos noches. We are finally back at the hotel after a long, long day. Very long day. Oh long my God. day. So here's what we did, y'all. We booked the San Blas Island tour. We woke up at five o'clock this morning. Our tour guy was downstairs in a van, got in. He was on time. Yeah, on time. He was on time, which is good. Yep, got in. Um, there were two other couples that were with us and it was pretty tight in the van. Um, so we, the one couple was here at this hotel. Um, we picked up the other couple. So we drove, it took about, it said three hours in the um, actual tour review or the tour description, but it ended up being how long? Oh, five or six. Because Not we, the drive. We didn't get there, we didn't get to the aisle until 11 o'clock. Okay, I think we got there a little earlier, no, but. I'm telling you, I'm going to control. Okay, all right. <laughs> but, um, so it was a long, bumpy, drive so many potholes unpaved roads whole it was the worst road conditions you can ever imagine so we took some drama means some motion sickness medicine um and that really helped with our um to not get motion sickness he did stop one time at this little mini mart on the way um, we went to the bathroom grabbed some snacks some food um it said the breakfast was included but we did not get any breakfast no fresh fruit no breakfast so if you if you're gonna go make sure you eat like make sure you got some food with you because if, if you're a morning, if you like to eat in the morning, you're a morning type person, you're gonna be kind of hungry on that trip. And the trip is gonna take about oh, five hours to get to the actual island. If you gotta drive to the coast, there's a lot of traffic heading out that way because a lot of people are trying to book that exact same tour. So there's a whole lot of traffic. You're gonna be sitting in traffic. You're gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna have to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And um, and you're gonna be hungry, so bring yeah. some snacks or something. Snacks and water. Okay, so then we pull up to the island. There was a bathroom. We went to the bathroom, um, met with our tour guide for the day. Then we got on a boat and went out for another. <laughs> oh, real quick, I don't want to interrupt you. The ride right. was real bumpy, also. It was a lot of potholes on the street. I just said that. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh, it's okay. okay. <laughs> I said that unpaved, yeah, bumpy, okay. horrible road conditions. Yep, so we got that. Um, and then, so when we met our tour guide, we got on a boat, um, and this boat ride was probably about an hour. The motor went out a couple times. He had to restart it. Um, the water was splashing in our face. It was it was pretty. Oh, it was a rough boat ride. If y'all aren't used to being yeah, on a boat, so, so wear your but, swim trunks or whatever you got. Wear that. Um, you know, have that on for the whole entire ride because you're going to get wet. Yeah, prepare to get, get splashed. Uh, you know, it's, yeah. it's it's a rough journey, but to get out there was worth it. Um, so after an hour, we made it out there. Um, we had lunch within 20 minutes of getting there. Uh, lunch was good. Yeah, What'd you have? Good. What'd we have? We had some, it looked like some fried snapper. Um, they, they catch us straight out the ocean yeah. on that island. We had rice. We had like a little small salad to go with it. They got condiments on the table and um, they mm -hmm. offered us either a beer or Coca-Cola or some water. So it was really good. I, yeah, I tore my food up. Man, I really enjoyed the lunch Tired. too. Yeah, oh, yeah, he is, he's sleepy. So then he put the drone in the air. Um, we swam for a little bit. There were swings on the island, um, beautiful water. There were people camping out there. Some people spent the night. Um, I discussed this earlier, so I won't go too much into it. Okay, and then after about um, an hour and a half on that island, we went to a natural pool where in the middle of the whole, this was probably on the yeah, the Caribbean Sea, which leads to the Atlantic Ocean. Um, it was just a natural pool there. It was beautiful water within how many, I don't even wanna guess the diameter. I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but a little patch of clear blue water and then the dark blue water surrounding it. Yeah, so you basically it like, it, it basically kind of gives you this feel like you're in the middle of the ocean, but you swimming like you're in a pool with some five foot water. Um, so that was real cool because, you know, you look around you and the, and the nearest island is, you know, a thousand yards away. So it's, it's just like, wow, you know, like we in the middle of the ocean just swimming about. So that was, that was real cool. Yeah, and um, 
just so you all know, the San Blas Islands, they make up about 300. There's 300 mini islands, but we went to one of the uh, most popular ones. Um, okay, so then after the natural pool, we were probably there a good uh, 25, 30 minutes, if that. Swam for a little bit. Um, and then we went to the third island where we snorkeled. Yeah, I'm and pretty sure y'all saw all the footage and everything. So beautiful. Um, we had an excellent time. Um, I would give that trip, unlike yesterday, I think I gave the Monkey Island trip like a 7 out of 10 in my opinion. I'd give this one like a 9.2 out of 10. And it would have been a complete 10 out of 10 if it didn't take so long to get there. They said it was going to be three hours. It really took six because of traffic and a whole bunch of other little stuff. And if the route, you know, wasn't so bumpy, I know they can't control that. It's just the roads out here and everything. Mm -hmm. and, um, and and even the boat, the boat breaking down randomly while we in it and, you know, stuff like that. So I, I would have gave it a 10 out of 10 because the experience itself is worth all of that. So um, if you're thinking, um, do y'all want to spend five hours, you know, driving out to San Blas, trust me, go ahead and do it. It's worth the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Do it on a day you know, in the middle of your trip. So, you know, you still got time after your trip to enjoy it and do other things, but definitely do it, I recommend it. Yeah, I recommend it as well. And y'all know I love snorkeling, so that was my favorite part. Um, and there wasn't really any food at that island. They had chips and snacks, but um, yeah, I got chips. What'd you get? Some type Some of chips, like, yeah. yeah, it wasn't like any. Bring So food. bring snacks, yeah, bring, bring food, y'all. Cause I mean, you're, you're gonna, gonna eat hungry. while you're there, but if, if you're the Once. type of person that you wanna, if, if you're a hungry person. <laughs> like me, like me, <laughs> You find me, yourself man. eating a lot. Some food. Yeah, so then on the way back, oh, we were dreading the way back. So on the way back, the boat ride was only 30 minutes, which was which was good, much quicker than the way there. Um, the drive back, uh, it wasn't as bad. I fell asleep a little bit, but then we hit traffic coming back to Panama City when we got closer to the hotel. So it's a long journey, y'all, but it's worth it. Y'all see the footage. Um, yeah, so that's all we wanted to say about that. Um, we're gonna do a review. You can we booked it on, I believe it's Viatar or V what's the name of it? I'll put it here, y'all, because I forgot. But um, yep. Uh we're about to take a nap and then get ready to hit the streets tonight. I cannot wait to experience. Um, we're gonna go to Costco Viejo, which is the old Panama City. Um, we heard that that's where all the, the hype parties are at, so we will see, and we'll let y'all know. All right, nap time. Good morning. It's day three here in Panama. We were supposed to go out last night, but we didn't, and we were too tired after waking up at five o'clock in the morning. We just needed some sleep. We were beat by the heat. There's no way. We wanted to so bad, but maybe we could try going out tonight, even though it's a Sunday. But it's Rashad's birthday today, so we have to do something. Gotta do something tonight. But right now we're getting our negative COVID test because we need a negative test to fly back into the U.S. Let's hope our tests are both negative. All right, y'all, so we just got our COVID test done. Um, it was $100 for the PCR test. We get our results in four hours by email. Tell them about the process. Okay, so she's not telling the whole story. So mind <laughs> you, it's our last day here. So they told us to meet downstairs at eight o'clock and we didn't. We came down on time, we were on time. The people didn't show up, nobody knew where they was at. So the receptionist said from eight to nine that they should be here. So we waited all the way until like, what, nine something? Nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. We were scared to go eat breakfast because we didn't want to miss the people showing up in the lobby for us to get our test. So they finally get here. We, even though we was the first ones down here, we ended up in the back of the line because we wasn't over there where they was at, whatever. So we ended up having to wait this long time for everybody to get their test done. It was real slow. Um, we finally did get the test. Um, but now it's going on um, 11 o'clock. Um, so we wasted a half hour morning just trying to get that test. So be mindful of that, that um, if, if y'all do come and, and all of this stuff still going on, that, that COVID test that you're gonna have to go back to the US on the last day, 
that you're probably going to waste a little bit of time trying to wait for that test if you decide to stay in this particular hotel. Yeah. So just, and just be mindful of that. Right. We're at the Westin Playa Bonita. That's Westin. the name of our hotel. So yeah. just be mindful. Oh, and then they went up. He, okay, they didn't have a computer. They had to write all of our passport information down. Um, and then when I saw them go deep up his nose, like both nachos, I told them, no, don't go as deep up my nose it's as you did. Yeah. <laughs> I said, look, don't go as deep up my nose as you did his because that looks, yeah. But it, it wasn't that bad because I kind of scooted it back because, yeah, I didn't want to sneeze. Anyway, but um, be mindful. We're going to look for, since breakfast is over, we're going to look for a lunch spot here at the resort. Um, if we don't find anything here, we'll probably go into um, downtown and check out some spots. So we'll keep yeah. you updated. All right, we stopped by the little bar outside to get some drinks. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the birthday boy. Ouch. 31. So we're waiting for the um, lunch spot to open so we can get some something to eat. All right. Lunch time. We're at the hotel again, our favorite place to have lunch. We haven't even explored downtown yet for the food, so we're gonna do that today. But first, let's dig in. All right, so we done pulled up on what looks to be the projects of Panama. Panama City, Panama little apartment buildings you can see that um it's warm enough for them to dry their clothes outside we have yeah, somebody dumpster surfing here looks like it's a little tough in these parts just showing y'all some of the um scenery you did the side yeah i did for the most part Put this baby up in the air. We got little ices. Yummy. They really shaved the ice. Yeah, they really did. I wish I got that on video, but I didn't want to be rude to the guy. Thing. Hope you find some water. With certain cities come litter. That's just how it is these days. It's just how it is in these streets. All right, back on, back in the car to the next adventure. World Trade Center of Panama. Pretty cool, and it's right next to um, a casino here. So um, Panama is pretty developed. It's a lot more developed than I thought it would be. So um, there's really nice hotels, restaurants, um, buildings, everything. But then you do have the underdeveloped or more city hood looking areas too. 
um, but that's usually everywhere. But yeah, Panama City is pretty dope. Go ahead. Oh, look at them. They're showing you birthday love. <laughs> that was cool. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. God bless you. Okay. See. God bless. Bye. Adios. All right. So this is Casco Viejo. This is supposed to be old Panama City. So Panama City burned down, and then they built this Panama, and then they built the more modern or updated um, Panama City. So this is how the old Panama. City Man, we all stop whistling. <laughs> Alright, so y'all can see the part of um, Panama City that was burned down. It's still preserved here. Still stands. We backed up in some traffic, y'all. Looking for a parking spot, of course. Yep, it's always traffic. It's a very slow-moving, traffic-filled city around here. I tell you that much. People drive like maniacs out here. Alright, so, y'all. We did some research, and Rashad has the right correction to what I said earlier. So the first <laughs> Panama City was burnt down. Like there's there's small traces of it, but we might even see it over here, but it's no longer. The side of town that we in right now, this old kind of fashion town was built in the 1600s. This is the old new Panama City. So it's old, but it's the newer from the last one. Mm -hmm. And then the, the more modern Panama City that, you know, downtown and the nice skyscrapers and everything, that's the newest. Panama City. So this that's the newest. This is the oldest newest. And then the oldest, oldest one is completely gone. It's just little <laughs> scrapes of it left. I hope that makes sense to y'all. Yeah. yeah. The first Panama City that got burnt down, that was first. And then this is the newer one built second. So this is where we are. Yeah, this is the newer one. And the newest one is downtown and the entire city. Where we got the drone footage, right. basically. All right, y'all. Let's explore. Gotcha. Gave y'all a little history lesson. I think it was 1673 when um, this city was built, Casco Viejo. All right, y'all, time to explore. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It does feel like New Orleans, so Rashawn made a good point. You wanna cross over? Yeah, it feels like um, New Orleans. It kind of feels like Bourbon Street, that area down here. Yeah, look, the French Quarter. Just the way that the um, the architecture is, like these two level homes. I found another one. Hi, Sleepy. This kitty is knocked out in the street under this car. I always know how to spot them. <laughs> so cute. Hi. Oh, hi. Love the kitties. Hi. Oh, that's why. Hi. I wish we did have some food. Sweet. Uh, yeah, we'll come back later and give you some food, okay? Okay. Hi, honey. Oh, look. And I wish we had some water, too. Oh, man. But you know what? They probably take care of them. We love the kitties. We got so many cats at home. You're their long lost cousin, okay? Uh-oh, uh-oh. You okay? Nice. I'll come back and bring you food, okay? Okay, bye-bye. All right, so in Costco Viejo, we stop here. It looks like it says what? Finca del Mar? Finca del Mar, something like that. So we have our passion fruit mojitos. We have Rashad on his cool little swing. Here, get me on a swing real quick. We got me on a swing. I think these are so cool to have up to the bar. Um, yep, so we ordered our food and we are patiently waiting. <laughs> Alright, so I got plantains and fish fingers and I already tore my salad up. Rashad got a whole fish 
with um salad and fries. How do you say fish again? Um pescara. No, pescara frito, right? <laughs> Fried fish. Good job. Mm -hmm. I like that a little bit. Yeah. Okay, he's getting there. You look like my cat soldier that ran away. Hi. So handsome. Guapo gato. Hi. All right, bye-bye. Rashad's leaving me. He's waiting <laughs> patiently. Adios, gato. Head back to the hotel, change. Get ready to come back out and experience some nightlife. Fell asleep two nights in a row to where we were too tired to go out because we're getting old, but... We're gonna try to make it happen tonight since it's his birthday night. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So we get back in for the day and guess what? On the house, the hotel surprise Rashad for his birthday. And look what else, woo, woo. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? That was nice. Yeah, this was beautiful birthday, man. Beautiful yes, oh, this was so nice of them. Ooh, let's dig in. Very, very kind, y'all. The Playa Weston Bonita. Stay here if you come to Panama City, okay? Love. Hook the brother up. Love. Yay. All right, y'all. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Y'all see, we're tired. It's four in the morning. We had to get up at three to be on the way here. Um, everything's closed. No breakfast open right now. I think it'll be to five. Um, but we checked our bags in. We go to Houston first. Then we go to Chicago. And then we go back to Baltimore. So um, to get in here, we just showed our COVID-19 negative test. And um, we're in. It wasn't too crowded at all. Good travel day. We'll be in, um, in the air basically the whole day. We didn't get a whole lot of sleep this trip. We was on the move a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, the last day we was hoping to get more sleep, but that COVID-19 test that we took at the airport messed all of that up. We was trying to get tested from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. So our whole morning was blown yesterday, but we had a great time. We ended up spending some time in the city, um, Casco Viejo. Uh, yep. I mean, you know, we ate real good. I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the trip, so. Yeah, it was a really, really nice trip. Yep. Y'all see my tan? I look nice and golden and smooth. We got nice and brown out here. All right, y'all. Until then, peace out. All right. I got two chicken tacos and black beans rice. Rashad got some pizza. We only have a couple minutes before we have to head to the gate. Um, this place is called Papacitos. And we are in Houston, Texas. So we touched down in Chicago airport and y'all see I'm trying to do better for myself. That bathing suit body ain't where it's at right now. So I got my salad. I got a strawberry banana smoothie. I got some fruit. Meanwhile, he got a deep dish. Can you blame me when in Chicago? I gotta get a deep dish. Pizza. Come on now. Shaking my head. It's like, yeah, it's pretty good though. I took a bite. How do you feel about me taking a bite? She always want to eat my food. <laughs> Right. One bite. Just enjoy. All right, y'all. It's time to dig in before our next flight back to Baltimore. 